where are you? Ah! Ah! I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good morning, Box. I'm on my way to go get my coffee right now, and um, <clears throat> I have Roslyn with me. I've been sleeping through the alarm a lot lately. But we also have groceries to get today, and I did a very bad thing. I lost my P.O. Box key, so I need to go take care of that so if you guys have sent me anything and like I haven't replied or anything like that it's because I've been desperately hoping that I would find the P.O. Box key because I think it's really expensive to replace and searching and searching and searching and not finding it and so um, I'm gonna have to go I don't even know I, I think it's gonna be really expensive to replace it occasionally you find yourself singing in the grocery store I don't think you guys can hear the background music but there's background music playing and I'm just like singing and I realized oh I I'm like a crazy person who's singing in the grocery store. Although now I'm the crazy person who's talking to a box in the grocery store. So, fortunately, there's no one down the toilet paper aisle. That went very well. I came in $8 under budget and I got well over one week's worth of groceries. It's gonna last us for a while. We've got like a full freezer now. Because last time I went grocery shopping, everything was on sale. My rule is if it's not on sale, I don't buy it. And I'm familiar enough with the store that there are some things that are on sale, but I know there's gonna be a better sale. So a lot of um, things like tortillas will have buy one, get one free, but if you wait a week, it'll be buy one, get two free. So they had, I've never seen this sale before, but they had buy one, get three free on frozen, wild caught, cod, and tilapia. So we're gonna have a lot of fish <laughs> coming up here. Well, as it turns out, that a key situation was a lot easier to fix than I thought it would be. We actually have ours at like a UPS store. It's, it's like not a real P.O. box. And they just gave me a new key. I mean, they asked, I had to show them my ID and everything, but I thought it was gonna be really expensive. And they're like, no, you get two, here you go. So it's like, okay, great. And then I also picked Roslyn up. Roslyn, show them your blocks. I picked her up some of these blocks because they were on the clearance section at my grocery store and I was like, we like Legos and I honestly think that Mega Blocks are better than Legos when they're this age because it, they don't take quite the same amount of dexterity. Yeah, that one, what is that? That's a cow. It doesn't take quite the same amount of dexterity as um, Legos. And if they leave them on the ground, it doesn't hurt mommy and daddy as much to step on them. Hello, Apollo. Hello, Calypso. The dogs always want to be in the middle of everything that I'm doing. Yeah, you've got your block. What, what is this one? It's a horse. You say nay. Sometimes she starts to have a meltdown in the car and that's when I decide, okay, we're done running errands for the day. But I managed to do groceries and go to the UPS store. So that is all set and I can receive things again. Although I haven't gotten anything, so maybe we'll just get rid of it. I don't know, some of you guys asked for it and I was really hesitant to get one. I was really hesitant to get one because I don't want it to turn into like the only thing that the channel's about. But I also like it because I can like send things from it too. So we'll, we'll see, I'll probably keep it. I also did meal planning kind of backwards. I like went and saw what was on sale and bought all my groceries. And now I'm gonna do meal planning. I know I have a lot of stuff, like my freezer is full because I kept getting things on sale. So I've got all this fish, and this is from two weeks ago, the steak and chicken. And then I got, so this week what I got was like the carbs and stuff and a lot of produce. Okay. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna now make my meal plan, which is kind of like backwards of the way that you do it. Usually you like see what you don't have, make your meal plan, and then buy stuff. But a lot of it is stuff that can be saved. Are we putting Calypso Nai Nai again? Nai Nai Calypso. This girl is teething so bad. She's just like, she was chewing on her shirt earlier, now she's chewing on a towel. Those two-year molars are like vicious, vicious. She's not had a lot of trouble with a lot of her other teeth, but 
She's really been struggling with bringing these ones in. What are you building, little cub? What are you building? We're playing with blocks? That is a block. It's quite frankly a miracle that this thing is staying up. So many of them are stacked on like one thing. Yeah, that's the last block. Your green one. Your green block. Uh oh, it's gonna fall. Steady, steady. <gasps> Yay, you did it. I made steak tonight. I had a whole bunch of thin cut steak that I got on sale at the grocery store, but I don't know how to cook thin cut steak. Like I just made it like normal steak and it's really gross. Like it's all like watery and just doesn't taste good. So if any of you guys have good recipes for thin cut steak, I've got like a freezer full. I'd love to see them. Hello box. It's late. I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to talk to you yet. We just put little cub down for sleep. And I was just telling Heidi that when I put her in the crib, she's like half asleep and she goes, baby, baby, babies. I'm like, okay. And so I go and get her dolls. She's so and funny with them. I go get her babies, her dolls, and like put them in the crib. And she's like, ah. It's like, like, okay. I was just telling Heidi, she's going to grow up to be Wendy. And I, I was like. Veronica uh, commented, she's been calling her little mama. Little mama. <laughs> little mama because she's, or little mommy. I don't know. I think it's Lil Mama. But all I could think of was, I was like, oh man, she's going to grow up to be Wendy. And some... Like from Peter Pan? Some, and like from Peter Pan, and uh, some uh, big-headed, meanie, poopy face person, someone is going to take her and try and take her off to Neverland. And I'm going to be all like, uh-uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. There's something on your eyebrow. <laughs> Sorry. So you should tell them the story about Peter Pan. Who doesn't know the story oh. about Peter Pan? No, not the story of Peter Pan. The story about Peter Pan and how it factors into our love. Oh, okay. Heidi was obsessed with Peter Pan um, when we were teenagers. And uh, she just loved, loved, loved Peter Pan. You know, the whole fairies and death and everything. And we, we should have had a clapping fit once because somebody said that, you know, they don't believe in you know uh. what. <laughs> anyway, so for your birthday? It was my birthday. Yeah, for her birthday, I went and got her the original play script. Because Peter Pan actually started off as a play. The original play script by uh, J.M. Barry? Right? J.M. Barry. J.M. Barry. And oh my gosh, that is not an easy thing to find. I thought it would be. I went to Barnes and Nobles. I was like, oh, I'll just go. No, no. I had to go to some like, like obscure bookstore and find it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, got her this book, and she thought it was really cute. You weren't even my boyfriend. No, I was, yeah. Your boy, I don't remember what your boyfriend got you, but I just remember thinking, like, <laughs> oh, man, I just set the bar really high. It's my like, B. <laughs> it's like when Chandler buys Peter Rabbit, is it, for or Joey's something. girlfriend? That's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, unfortunately, I didn't have a gang of friends to be like, um, what's the boyfriend getting her? How is that going to compare? And I, yeah, didn't really think about that. <laughs> she forgot how to get off the couch. She's like, I'm lost. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi, Hi Calypso. Yeah. Do you get Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm making fun of her, I go into my churro voice. <laughs> Oh, some people don't know who Churro is yet. We need to do one. We need. We do need to do a Ken Shorts. I'm just saying. Hi, Apollo. Can you stop breathing on me? Quite a few of you watched yesterday's video on the Heidi Kim TV channel. If you haven't yet, it will be linked down below. And it is the explanation of why Adelaide died according to our genetic counselor. So, a couple things I wanted to say about that is um, I held it together really well for that video, but it's been very emotionally draining on us, and I haven't been turning the camera on much, but I've been having a really, really hard time with it. And so um, I can only read so many comments at a time right now. Like I'm reading them, 
and then I have to take a break and then I read them and then I have to take a break because it's just it's a lot and I'm having a hard time coping with just all the new information like we had resigned to we weren't gonna know and then now we do know we're pretty sure yeah and it's um it's just a lot it's just a lot emotionally so I'm sorry if you guys commented on that and I haven't replied yet um, <laughs> some of them I might not reply just because it's it takes a lot out of me to reply to those kinds of comments but I am reading them kind of like piece by piece and I appreciate every single one of you and if you haven't seen it yet it'll be linked below you can check it out and on a lighter note there's another video live on Heidi K makeup right now as well that you can check out where I go through my makeup stash and kind of clean it out a little bit. So you can check that out too. And on an even lighter note, Walmart came out with Peeps. Well, no, they didn't come out with Peeps. You know, Peeps are everywhere. If you don't know what Peeps are, they're this American marshmallow thing. Little Actually, ducks and I, rabbits. I heard that marshmallows are an American thing. Really? Yeah, one of the German foreign exchange students when we were in high school said that his favorite American snack was marshmallows. Oh. So I don't know if they have them in other places. They're like, um... Sugar. It's fluff sugar. <laughs> fluff sugar with gelatin. That sounds gross, but they're quite good. <laughs> anyway, so Walmart struck some magical deal and they came out with sour watermelon. Which sounds disgusting, but I tried it and oh my gosh, I have been looking forward to sour watermelon peeps for a year now. And they are so delicious and probably the next time I have free cash, I'm just going to go and just buy a crate of them and just munch on them all year long. <laughs> That's another thing with peeps you could do. It's like, be like, Timmy, Timmy, where are you? <laughs> Zombie peeps, because they're green. <laughs> And on that note, we're going to go ahead and end the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Okay, so subscribe down below. If this is your first time here, you can hit the subscribe button. We do this every day. That will be down below. I just said that. Yeah, but I translated it for those who don't speak Chubby Bunny. Oh, okay. Um, and there's a new video live on Heidi K Makeup. You can check that out. That'll be linked down below as well. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello, Box. You're being very strange. I'm going to give you a different perspective today. Hi. She wants you to put her shirt on. Oh, okay. Very little time. I was making fun of Ken because he always vlogs laying down, so he did this. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>